Hey guys, welcome back. It's your host Rickard and in today's episode we're gonna discuss and react to one of the deliverances that happened a couple of weeks ago at our monthly prayer line at Hungry Generation Church. I posted a short six second clip of that deliverance, just a small par portion of it. And that video went viral and it received a lot of criticism and people were angry for and upset that Jesus Christ was setting the captives free. So this is the video I'm going to right now. Okay, so for that six second clip, I posted it on Instagram. It went kind of viral. Uh, it currently has about 650,000 views and a lot of people are complaining that Jesus Christ is setting people free and they don't like to see that. So for today, I'm going to post my full uh, reaction to the full deliverance. The full deliverance is way longer than just six seconds. And I have a, about six minute clip of her full deliverance. And even that clip is edited a little bit. It was probably almost a 10 minute deliverance. Uh, it took time and there was a lot of demons coming out. And I'll show you the full video today so that you can get the full idea of what actually happened that day. Uh, and I'll give you my reaction to it as well and explain what was going through in my mind and what was happening at that point. So I'm going to wear my earphone here so that I can hear what's happening in the video. And let's go ahead and play it. Okay, so as you see here, uh, the video clip that I showed you, the six second video clip was when I was uh, first touching the woman, immediately demons started manifesting in her. I saw that she was uh, at unrest and uh, uh, so I prayed for her and when she fell down, that's the video clip you saw. After that, I actually asked the ushers to pick her back up because the Holy Spirit was ministering to me that there was a lot of demons in there that needed to be exposed so that they could be expelled. At this point right here, I prayed for her and I was, I was uh, interrogating the demon without the microphone. I said, who are you in this body? The demon responded and said, I'm Belzebub. So I knew that this demon was already submitting to the authority that Jesus Christ had given me and he had started speaking out. So I chose to ask for the mic for the edification of the body of Christ so that we can expose the works of darkness and that people can learn lessons from it. And also for this woman's full deliverance and effective freedom. Okay, let's watch. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus. Now speak out. Who are you? Belzebub. Hey, number two, Belzebub. Who else? Number two? Molech. Hey? Molech. Molech, who else? Who else is in it? Fire, more fire. Baal, who else? Fire, oh God, who else? Abaddon. Uh-huh, who else? Fire. Okay, so as you can hear, there was a lot of very strong names that are being thrown out here. We had Belzebub, we had Moloch, which is actually uh, the god of child sacrifice. It's what the Bible is referring to in the Old Testament in the book of Leviticus of saying that God instructed the people of Israel not to let your children pass through the fire uh, because that is an abomination before the God. Moloch is a, a, was a pagan god that people actually sacrificed their kids to, to, to for their kids to die a very painful, gruesome, terrible death. It was a brazen altar, a bull with two brazen hands holding like this. And it would be heated up to the point that it's, it's, it's extremely hot. And then they would place their infants in the hand of that idol, that brazen bull. And they would burn to death. They would melt and, and they would burn to death in the hands of that bull. And that's what they mean passing through the fire. It's child sacrifice. And that God, that, that demon is still around today. It's the demon behind abortion. Child sacrifice is still happening today. And you can see clearly the de demonic manifestations many times in the people that are extremely pro-choice. They are literally manifesting on the streets when they're talking about how they wish that they were pregnant just so that they could kill another baby and stuff like that. That demonic spirit is very much still around. And there are other spirits mentioned as well. Baal, Abaddon and so on. All these spirits are actually principalities. They are not necessarily demons 
per se. They are principalities. So were the principalities of these strong spirits in this woman's body? No. It was demonic spirits characterized and who identified with the, the ideology of those principalities. So when someone says that, oh, I'm the spirit of Lucifer, it doesn't mean that Lucifer himself is inside that person. It's a demon who identifies with the ideology of that demon. It's like a minion to those principalities. So Belzebub, Baal, all these, they are principalities, and it was their minions that was living inside of this woman. Okay, let's watch. Uh, huh? How many powers do you have? How many powers do you have, you demon? Uh -huh. Now speak out. Uh -huh. I own her. Oh, you own her. Okay. How long have you been in her body, you demon? Since birth. Since birth? How did you enter her? How did you enter her? Rejection of her mother. Okay, you're coming out right now. We don't have your time. So the demon said it had entered since birth. And then it said... Uh, that he owns her, and then he said it entered through rejection of the mother. So I want to clarify here, because after her deliverance, she actually shared her testimony to us, uh, telling us how she, when she was seven, eight years old, she was actually uh, uh, put uh, uh, to a family friend, uh, a friend that she found in school, and uh, that friend's parents were Satanists. They put her in a bathtub and prayed satanic prayers over her, quoting the satanic Bible over her, sacrificing her to the devil. Not literally killing her, but sacrificing her, like giving her to Satan. So that happened. And, and uh, uh, she also told us that as a child that she had experienced terrible things where, where uh, she has vague memories of her mom trying to get rid of her as a child and stuff like that. So so, uh, and then the demon also said, another demon answered and said, we entered through uh, since birth. So this is different demons that are, that are speaking at this time. Some demons were passed on. Okay, it said since birth. So the, the, some demons were passed on from the parents. And then through the mother's rejection, more of the demons entered into her life. Uh, and uh, she shared so many stories of how she was exposed to all these things and she never could recover straight from childhood. She felt this demonic presence in her life throughout her whole life and so on and so forth. So that's just a little background to explain what what the, that meant when the demons were confessing those things through the rejection of the mother and so on and so forth. As a parent, make sure that you love your kids and that you don't give them uh, that you don't allow any of such spirits of rejection uh, to get an, a, a foothold in your in your kid's life by reject, rejecting them in some way, shape, or form, okay? Of course, what this lady went through was extreme, uh, but as a parent, make sure that you represent the love of God and that you never give any foothold for the devil in your kid's hearts, okay? Every single one of you, we don't care about your name, you demons. There's a name that's above every other name. And by the name of Jesus Christ, I command you out! You can see that the demon gets really out! flustered when I'm calling the name of Jesus. Out! This is the point out! of confrontation. Out in the name of Jesus. Total freedom right now. Jesus, and they hands on her again because Thank I'm you, feeling Jesus. my spirit that there's still some darkness they're hiding. And when I keep praying for her, start manifesting again. Some demons had already gone by this point. Some were still there. You belong there. on the floor, you demon. Out! Out right now! Come out! No time! Your time is up! Get out! I said, get out! You have no legal right! Out! Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost! Out! I command you leave! Out! Out! In Jesus' name! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Here yeah, the church starts cheering, Thank you, Lord. thinking that it's done. Once again, Thank you, I Jesus. the Spirit of God telling me there's still something there. Thank you, Lord. Demons are coming out at this point. They're leaving one by one, one by one. But the Spirit of God is still testifying Thank in my you, spirit. Thank you, Jesus, That's for total freedom just right one, now. Pray one more time. Last one. Last one. Pick her up one last time. They are going. Last one is coming out right now. Pick her up so that I can Look better here. face the demon. Look here. Look here. Fire. Go. 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 
Your time is up. Go. Go. You will not kill anything. You are leaving today. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. 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 Look here. Look here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, At Jesus. At this point, I'm looking down. I'm waiting you, on instruction Jesus. from the Holy Spirit. At this For point. total freedom right now. I'm like, Holy Spirit, help me out here. Thank you, Jesus. Help me out here, Lord. Be silent, you demon. Keep up, Shut up. And come out. out. Rebuking the demon, telling Jesus. it to be silent. Absolutely biblical, out. although I didn't need to say out. shut up. I could have said just Every be silent, Every last one you of demon. you. Fire in your eyes. Fire in your hair. Fire in your mouth. In your throat. In your heart. All over your body. Fire! Out! Fire! 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 Sometimes fire. when more demons fire. are stubborn, you fire. just need to pour more fire. 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 Just more fire. fire. So I keep, I keep praying for more fire of God to weaken the grip of the devil. This is definitely one of the more stubborn ones of that day. bows to their knees so at this point you can hear at this point you can hear that I'm telling telling the demon you're back on the floor this is because uh, from experience this is no no nothing you need to make a doctrine out of but from experience uh, commanding the demon they're back on the floor or on their knees many times that act of surrender and submission many times is the final thing for the demon to lose their grip in a person's life okay so that's why we do it many times when a person falls down and they when their back touches the ground boom that's the moment that the demon pew, sneaks out so it's just something that we have discovered with time casting out demons that commanding their back on the floor is quite an effective method it's what prophet tb joshua did many times and it's directly learned from, from my mentor. It's definitely a stubborn one. At this point, I personally was like, okay, this it's gotta be it. She starts reacting to the prayer again. So I'm commanding the demon to move out of her. Around here is when I hear from the Holy Spirit. I feel that I feel the peace of God telling me I feel the peace of God and the Holy Spirit telling me that okay, it's been done. It's been done. So I start rounding up the prayer here. Somewhere around here. Jesus, that was it. thank you, Jesus. That was what it. happened to you just now? I have no idea. Jesus Christ has set you completely free from every single demonic spirit that has been tormenting your life, and today you are free indeed. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's truly the response of a happy heart. Hallelujah. All right, guys, there you have it. That was the full deliverance from uh, for this lady, how she received her full deliverance. Leave your comments in the in the que uh, leave your questions in the comments. Do you have any questions regarding this? Any feedback? What do you have to say regarding the power of God when Jesus Christ sets the captives free? OK, if you enjoyed it, like this video, share it with someone that needs to hear and, and learn more about deliverance. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel until next time. Stay in faith. God bless you. Better is not good enough. The best is always yet to come. Bless you.